What's up guys? That is a beautiful tune. This is a beautiful guitar and that's a beautiful color. It's a beautiful day. It's February, the month of love. <laughs> So, <laughs> I'm here to talk about strumming as a core guitar technique. So this is an instructional video. It's the first one of the strumming series which I'll be taking you guys through. And I hope you will enjoy and learn something from me which I picked up along the way of uh, playing guitar. I love strumming, it's really powerful and you can achieve all the different colors and feels. Strumming is so cool that you have to learn it if you're playing the guitar. So you have to learn to play the correct way. So for today, I'm talking about the tools you need to start off uh, learning strumming. So like I said, it comes with different colors, uh, different feels. There's soft to, to less soft and then to hide or to or to rough or ragged it's that's what you want to call it so all these are colors which you can create over the same guitar but use different tools so what do we need picks electron or just your hand <laughs> so for the hand if you want to achieve a, a nice intimate feeling that chill kind of mood, you know, Mahanja Pale, <laughs> you know, that intimate kind of feeling you want to achieve in your music. You can use your hand. So, how do we strum in the hand? For me, I use the thumb and the first finger. So, my thumb acts like uh, the pick for downstroke, and my first finger acts like the pick for upstroke. So, I use them in. Uh, coordination or in alternation so if, if you want to achieve that that uh, chill mode that intimate kind of mode you can use your hand to strum now I'll be giving you instructions on how to strum with your hand so uh, stay tuned so now with the picks so picks come in different shapes sizes and width now i'll emphasize on the last part the width part so the width we have uh, uh various of picks floppy ones uh each, this one is like uh, 0 0.6 millimeters it's soft pick so a soft pick will definitely bring us a soft kind of feel effortlessly even if you strum how high it can be loud but it can be soft you know If you like uh, genres like soft rock or pop or afro fusion you want to use and you want to achieve uh, a softer kind of feel you want to use a soft pick all right uh, next one i have is a kind of medium pick so the medium pick of course it brings us a kind of crispy more heavier kind of 
from soft to the next feel, which is like a medium tone. It's not so hard, and again, it's not so soft. So it's perfect for combining techniques. Uh, for uh, uh, like for example, if you wanna do strumming and picking, okay? But this last one is for strumming. So this one kind of gives us a more less a soft feeling, okay? It's like a kind of more amplified kind of softness, right? All right. And now I have a hard pick. It is very, very firm, stable, stable. <laughs> so it means that the outcome would be loud, rugged, and crispy. You can hear, literally, you can hear every note screaming out. Yeah? It's more bright, of course. It's like the pick is slapping the, the strings slap like now on my video <laughs> and oh subscribe now on my video if you like it see that all right it's as simple as that so the choice of the pick you're gonna use or you or maybe you want to to utilize uh, will determine the outcome so if you want to learn how to strum correctly you need to to choose correctly to choose the right uh, tool for a particular feel all right so like I said for soft picks it brings out a softer outcome for medium picks a less soft like medium crisp okay and on the hard peak, it's more pronounced, it's more brighter. Sorry, it's more bright. No, wait, it's bright. Right? It's more Right? So, why am I doing this series of um, for, for strumming and all that it comes with? Because, first of all, I love strumming. It's core. One of the core uh, techniques for guitarists. Uh, so most people here uh, in, in my country, they get it wrong. They don't know how to strum correctly. They just strum noisy, okay, All right? And maybe because they don't know what tools to use correctly, okay, or, or how to approach strumming. So this series of strumming uh, technique. We'll be taking you through all the things you need and how you need to approach strumming as a technique, all right? Especially if you're doing uh, soft rock or R&B or um, Afrofusion, worship songs in church, and all that. You need to listen and follow these lessons uh, uh, carefully. I'll be uh, explaining in details, so I'll be giving lessons in bits, small bits, so that you don't get lost in between. So, yeah, I hope you have enjoyed this lesson and see you in a while. And remember to subscribe to my channel and you can share this with your friends. All right, bye bye now. See you next time.